This is the Griffith Observatory in the hills over Hollywood. Now, when you come to an observatory, you want to look at the stars. Well, when Chrysler looked at their stars about 10 or 12 years ago, they were almost out of business. So they brought a new executive over to run the company from Ford. His name was Lee Iacocca. He had an idea for a vehicle called a minivan. Now, in Europe, these are called MPVs, like the Renault Espace, the Toyota Previa. But this is the big one in America. Nobody's ever been accused of falling in love with a minivan. They're not very sexy, they're fairly boring, but they do their job well. The Chrysler does it as well as just about any vehicle in the world. I can't imagine anyone 20 or 30 or 50 years from now collecting these and restoring them to show at the Concorde. It's a good thing this Chrysler minivan has analog brakes because I did not want to end up in downtown Los Angeles. Now, why is this minivan so popular? They sell half a million of them a year in America. One of the main reasons is not just this sliding door. A lot of minivans have sliding doors, but follow me. Let me show you something very special about this Chrysler. You come through the back, and there is, voila, another sliding door on the other side. It makes it so easy to get in and out of the vehicle, load the kids, load the groceries. If you need extra room in the back, all the seats in the back are easily removed. They're a little bit heavier than I would like, and they go in a little bit more difficultly than they come out, but they're easy to get out. Now take a look at the dashboard. There's a couple of extra special gadgets up here we want to show you. First right here, there's a power outlet for your cell phone or your laptop computer. We used to call it a cigarette lighter, but those are politically incorrect these days in the United States. You have separate controls for the heat and the air conditioner for the driver's side and the passenger side. This feature has saved several marriages that I know of. And finally, the radio. It has a control for quadraphonic sound. If you remember quadraphonic from the 70s, well, that never took off. But Chrysler bought about 5 million of these radios. Literally, it's in all their cars and trucks. Now, like any vehicle, even the Chrysler minivan is not perfect. It's, it's had its problems, let's be honest about that. When it came out in America about a year ago, there were some problems with the analog brake system and with the door latches, but those problems have been fixed and they should not be a problem at all on the British model when it comes out. Now, the price of a minivan, a Chrysler minivan, is anywhere from about eighteen dollars to $32,000 or about twelve dollars to 20,000 pounds. Whether you're in Beverly Hills or even in Wilmslow, you won't get a lot of high speed performance from the Chrysler minivan, but you'll get great fuel mileage performance. In fact, 25 miles per gallon, which is very impressive for a vehicle of this size and weight. You've got airbags right here for the driver, and there's one on the passenger side as well. The analog brakes, all-wheel drive is available. And as far as security goes, you sit way up high. You get a great view of the road around you. And comfort and luxury, well, this is as comfortable as any limousine I've ever been in. And a lot of these attributes sound like they may be very attractive to women, to the females in the audience, and there's a reason for that. Women in America are responsible for making 80% of the car purchase decisions. I think it's the same way in England, but you just haven't admitted it as yet.